Hold on to your hats, folks. Breaking news just dropped, and it's a game changer for millions of Americans. A fresh $1,400 stimulus check is on its way, but this isn't your average government payout. We're talking about a targeted boost that could make a real difference in your life. We're talking income limits, dependent bonuses, and even a few surprises that might catch you off guard. And get this, the first wave of payments is set to roll out on August 14th. That's just around the corner. But will your name be on that first list? And more importantly, how much will actually land in your account? Stick around, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to break it all down for you. We'll cover who's eligible, how to check your payment status, and even how to calculate your exact payout. Plus, I've got some expert tips on how to make the most of this unexpected windfall. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and Forest stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSSDI and VIA recipients. I hope you're all doing well. Let's get right into it. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, you heard that correctly. A new $1,400 stimulus check is on its way. Now I know what you're thinking. Didn't we already get stimulus checks? You're absolutely right, but this one's different. It's part of a targeted effort to help those who need it most, particularly beneficiaries of Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI and Veterans Affairs, VIA programs. Now, before we get into the nitty-gritty details, let's take a quick moment to understand why this is happening. The economic impact of the pandemic is still being felt across the nation, and many Americans, especially those on fixed incomes, are struggling to make ends meet. This new round of stimulus checks aims to provide some much-needed relief to these vulnerable groups. But here's the catch. Not everyone in these programs will automatically receive the payment. There are some additional criteria you need to meet. Let's break it down. Income limits. Your adjusted gross income, AGI, must be below certain thresholds. For single filers, that's $75,000. For married couples filing jointly, it's $150,000. And for heads of household, the limit is $112,500. Dependents, if you have dependents, you might be eligible for additional funds. This includes adult dependents, which is a change from previous stimulus payments. Citizenship status, you must be a you citizen, or a qualifying resident alien. Not claimed as a dependent. If someone else claims you as a dependent on their tax return, you won't be eligible for this payment. Now, I know that's a lot to take in, so let's pause for a moment. If you're feeling overwhelmed, don't worry. We'll be going through each of these points in more detail later in the video. For now, just know that if you're receiving benefits from one of those programs I mentioned earlier, you're already on the right track. All right, now for the moment you've all been waiting for, when can you expect to see that sweet $1,400 in your account? Mark your calendars, folks, because the first wave of payments is set to go out on August 14th. But here's the thing, not everyone will receive their payment on the same day. The distribution of these checks will be staggered over several weeks to ensure smooth processing. So how can you find out your specific payment date? Well, I've got some good news for you. The Social Security Administration, SSA, has set up a handy online tool where you can check your payment status and expected date. Once you enter this information, you'll be able to see your expected payment date. Now, keep in mind that this date is an estimate, and actual deposit times may vary depending on your bank. But what if you don't have internet access or you're not comfortable using online tools? Don't worry, I've got you covered. You can also call the SSA's dedicated stimulus payment hotline at insert phone number. Just be prepared for potentially long wait times, especially in the first few weeks after the announcement. Now, let's talk dollars and cents. How much can you actually expect to receive? While the headline figure is $1,400, the reality is that not everyone will get the full amount. Your actual payment will depend on a few factors. Your income, Remember those income thresholds we talked about earlier? If your AGI is below the limit for your filing status, 
you'll get the full $1,400. But if your income is above the threshold, your payment will be reduced. Once you hit $80,000 for single filers, $160,000 for married couples, or $120,000 for heads of household, you won't receive any payment at all. Dependents? If you have dependents, you might be eligible for additional funds. Each qualifying dependent could add another $1,400 to your payment. Previous stimulus payments. If you didn't receive the full amount you were entitled to in previous rounds of stimulus payments, you might receive additional funds to make up the difference. To help you figure out exactly how much you'll receive, I've created a simple calculator that you can access through the link in the description below. Just input your information, and it'll give you an estimate of your payment amount. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, what if I don't usually file taxes because my income is too low? Great question. If you're a recipient of Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VIA benefits, you don't need to do anything to receive this payment. The IRS will use the information they have on file from your benefit payments to process your stimulus check. However, if you have dependents that weren't included in your previous stimulus payments, you might need to file a simple tax return to claim them. Don't worry, though the IRS has made this process as easy as possible. Now, I want to take a moment to address something important. Unfortunately, whenever there's money involved, scammers come out of the woodwork. So, let's talk about how to protect yourself from stimulus check scams. The government will never call, text, or email you about your stimulus check. If someone contacts you claiming to be from the government and asks for personal information or money, it's a scam. You don't need to pay anything to get your stimulus check. If anyone asks for a fee to process your payment, it's a scam. The government won't ask you to deposit your stimulus check and then send money back. This is a common scam tactic. Be wary of any unexpected checks in the mail. Some scammers send fake checks and then ask you to call a number to verify your information. Remember, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. When in doubt, contact the SSA or IRS directly using the official numbers on their websites. But what about the long-term implications? Well, economists are divided on this issue. Some argue that these stimulus payments are crucial for keeping the economy afloat and preventing a deeper recession. Others worry about the potential for inflation and the increasing national debt. Regardless of where you stand on the economic debate, if you're eligible for this payment, it's important to use it wisely. Consider putting some aside for emergencies if you can, or use it to catch up on essential bills. And if you're in a position to do so, Consider supporting local businesses in your community. As we wrap up, let's recap the key points. A new $1,400 stimulus check is coming for eligible recipients of Social Security, SSISS, DI, and VIA benefits. The first payments will go out on August 14th, with distributions staggered over several weeks. Your payment amount depends on your income and number of dependents. You can check your payment status and date using the SSA's online tool. Be aware of potential scams and protect your personal information. Remember, this situation is still developing and there may be updates or changes in the coming weeks. I'll be keeping a close eye on any new information and will update you all as soon as I know more. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more updates on stimulus checks, financial news, and tips for making the most of your money. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update.